Hello everyone, welcome to this back of motion control series video. In this video, we will mainly talk about the three common used motion command. They are move velocity, move relative, and move absolute. They are three common used motion control. Basically, for the single axis movement, 99% motion command come from these three main command. And most importantly, that is the move absolute. Okay, in the previous video, we introduced the five common used motion command. They are reset, MC power, MC home, MC drop. They are the basic function to enable and manual move the access. And when we shift the machine to automatic mode, so the three common used command, velocity, move relative, and move absolute. So in this video, we will mainly introduce how can we program that. And in the previous video, I introduced how can we set up this program, motion control this program, and we set up this method. And this method based on the ladder logic, LD. And we program the MC reset, power, home, and jog. And then let's go continue just below this network. Okay, let's create a new network, insert network below call that three function block go to the right side click this box and drag to here and here let's go browse i find out the first one move velocity tc2 underscore mc2 pou motion and let's find out p2p motion and here we can find out the mc underscore move velocity and keep in mind that this motion command come from this tc2 underscore mc2 this library and if you cannot find this library probably you need to go to the reference here see i have this if you cannot find this uh, library you need to right click click this uh, add library and type in this library name tc2 underscore mc2 and add that library into your reference here into your project okay so system will notice you to create one instant db here we will create this uh, instant db in our global variable list as the same as the previous video so i will temporarily delete here let's put this uh, three function blocks here at first so first one move velocity next one same thing at a box okay let's find out this move relative Okay. So this function block will control our access to do a relative distance movement. Okay. This is the positioning control, but just to do a relative positioning control. Okay. And next one, drag a box and click this small square. And next one, that is a move absolute. Okay. For the positioning control, this command is the most common used function block. Okay, let's leave this three function block here. So let's quickly have a glance. Firstly, the same as the other function block, we need this instant DB here. And also for each axis here, we need to connect this logic axis. So in this case, I named this axis as a single axis, this name. And it's a date type that is a, this. So axis underscore ref here other than this for the input this area we can see they have some common inputs for example execute distance velocity acceleration deceleration and jerk something else if we create an individual tag that will be a very complex because we need to individually create the tag for each function block or for each motion type right so it would be nice we create one structure and create the variable based on the structure same as the status like the previous video i showed when we create those variables this variable is based on this structure so we will do the same thing firstly let's create one structure the structure includes all those important variables here and then we can create a variable based on that structure okay to create one structure let's go to the dtu here in the previous video, I set up this MC underscore status. So we can see this structure has this typical output here. And we will use the similar idea. Okay. And create this input here. 
go to the DTU here, right click, click add, click this uh, DTU. Here we can name it ST underscore MC underscore command. Okay, and then we create the tags between this structure and this end underscore structure here. Okay, I created all those variables within this structure. For example, for each function block or for each variable, using this structure it has a execute velocity acceleration deceleration jerk and distance and the position and keep in mind for the direction for example if we go to this velocity for this direction buffer mode and options the all numerator structure that's why this prefix of this uh, variables i name it enu here and all those structure come from the system if i leave this mouse here you will see so MC buffer mode, you will see they all come from back off structure. So we create this uh, structure here. And then let's go to the variable list and create the variable based on this structure. And let's go to GVL, global variable list, GVL underscore SA. And at this uh, input command here, I will create the variable based on this structure. So first one, that is velocity. So I will name it ST. As a underscore velocity command as t underscore mc underscore cmd okay velocity and since maybe in one project we have a different velocity command so we could name a number here for example this is the first one velocity command okay so using this similar method declare the velocity command one two and the relative motion command one two and the absolute motion one two okay based on this motion command this structure here okay we and then let's declare the status and let's scroll down and in the previous video we declared those status that status based on this structure mc underscore status this structure includes all those sub status this variables here then let's go back so using the similar way okay we will declare the velocity relative and absolute motion the status okay we declare all those variables for each motion command i declare two okay and other than this let's declare the instant db scroll up at here motion control function block instant okay at here for the velocity, we will declare fb as a underscore velocity and the number one. So we could couple velocity function block in one project, right? So for this velocity, that is mc underscore move velocity. Okay, similar way, we will declare the relative and the absolute okay we declare here keep in mind for the move relative we need to select this uh, data type move relative and for the move absolute we will use this uh, move absolute data type those are instant db for the function block all right let's build the project and then let's go to the letter logic let's go back to this uh, letter logic here for the move velocity here let's click this uh, small square and now from this GVL, this GVL underscore SA, so we can select the only match to type the move velocity for this function block here. That is a move velocity one and two we declare. So we can select one. Okay. And for the move relative, move relative. Okay. We select. And for the move absolute, same thing. Move absolute. So here, especially for this move absolute, for one project, we could have a multiple move absolute function block call. So we could declare multiple instant DB here for the one motion type. We could declare multiple instant DB for one motion type. So in one project, we could have a different command here for different instant DB for different motion call. Okay, this is number one. So we could copy and paste. For example, in this project, we have a two absolute move. So the second one, that is the absolute number two. Okay. Let's go back. 
this move velocity. So firstly, let's assign the axis, the axis for the move velocity. So they will be the same. There's a single axis. And if you reveal this a single axis, its motion type is uh, axis underscore ref here. And from this axis, this virtual axis, when we config that, so here, this link to PLC, we are connecting this single axis, this motion type. Okay. So same thing, this single axis, we will assign for all of those motion command. That means those motion command is controlling this axis here. Okay, and then let's assign the variables. So for this move velocity, we will use the command, the variable we declare here, input command sdsa underscore velocity command one. And all the sub variable will be included within this structure. So here we can select, click this small button here for the command stsa underscore. So let's find out this stsa underscore velocity command one, okay? And within this velocity command one, that is a execute. And same thing for other input interface. Okay, this MC velocity, we insert all those variables. This execute velocity, acceleration, deceleration, and this direction and the buffer mode. And for this options, if we insert the variable at here, go down, find out this velocity command, and we can find this uh, numerator, this numerator options here, if we expand here, it will show which value we can select. For the options, normally we will leave as uh, open, so without putting everything here, okay? So this is the one typical function block types Left side, they are command. Right side, they are status. Okay, let's do the next one. And for the move relative, for example, the execute, its full name is a GVL underscore SA dot STSA underscore relative command one B execute. Okay, and distance, we can use the same prefix press dot, and then we can select this distance, distance. Okay, next one, velocity full name, velocity, okay, and next one, acceleration, and this is a deceleration, okay, and jerk, for the jerk, if we leave here as an empty, that means the jerk will by default using the system configuration come from this axis configuration. If we recall, go to the parameter of this axis, so we will see the default jerk here. If we leave empty at the function block, so the system will use this default value. Okay, let's go back. And for the buffer mode, the buffer mode. Okay, so we can select the buffer mode. And regarding the buffer mode, if we recall, Infosys system. So this is a move relative. Let's go to find out this buffer mode. What does it mean of this buffer mode? So here, buffer mode. Buffer mode is evaluate if the access already executed another command. That means if we have a new command, so how we can deal with one existing command. So if we click this MC underscore buffer mode, we will see from this curve, this trend, we will see very clearly for different selection, what the function we will run. So the typical two style, one is buffered. This is default. One is this, blending high or blending the next. So this speed can be continuous rather than abroad. It totally depends on the application and how we can run the motion. Sometimes we want to finish totally. Sometimes we need to just to take over the speed. So this buffer mode you can select. It comes from the numerator structure. Okay, this is the move relative. Okay, next, that is a move absolute. So at this first absolute motion, for this output, we used this status, absolute status one, the done, busy, active, arrow, and arrow ID, and abroad. 
So for the input, we have an execute command, position command, and the velocity. And for the acceleration, deceleration, jerk, buffer mode, most of the cases we will leave as a default. That will use the default setting from this axis. So here, we already show the example. But for here, I will leave as empty because most of the cases actually we will use the default unless for some motion, for example, if you are controlling the peak place, maybe for some corner, you want to make the peak place smoother. Probably that time the acceleration and the deceleration can be side or lower. Okay. This is the first one. I will copy this and paste the second one. So this is the second one. And this is the comment. We predefined this instant DB name, so I just change this index number from uh, one. If to you two. do need this acceleration, so we can select, click this small button, and select MC, find out this GVL underscore SA, and scroll down, find out the move absolute. For example, this is the second one, so absolute two. So we can select this acceleration we declare, that is a long real value. So click OK. So it will connect this variable. So for testing purpose, I will delete it and it will use the system default. All right, we finished program. This three typical motion command. So let's quickly review. This is MC jog from the previous video. Firstly, this is the move velocity. Using this command, we can run speed control, control the axis. And this move relative, that is the relative motion. So every time we trigger, this motion command will control our axis to run the certain distance and with this velocity setting. And most of the cases, we will use this move absolute. Here, I prepare two. So for different position control, we can set the different position and the velocity. Every time we trigger this using the rising edge, this command will control the axis towards to the target position we command. The different command here we can set a different position. Okay, now we can download our program and uh, test this command. So let's build our project. Okay, no errors here. Let's download. So click this uh, active configuration downstairs. Download the hardware configuration here. Let's temporarily park here. In the next video, I will show the online test. We will test the move velocity, move relative, and move absolute. All right, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.